time right now is three hours and 25. Six hours a day. About five hours. Around six hours. Like six hours a day. I use eight hours a day. Nine hours a day. Probably all day. I say Netflix. TikTok. Uh, TikTok and Twitter. Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok or Snapchat. And Snap and TikTok. TikTok, Snapchat. It's either TikTok or Snapchat. I like Snapchat, TikTok. Probably Snapchat. Snapchat. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, nothing much. What's up, baby? Hey, where's Eva? Didn't you hear she got arrested? Nah, I didn't hear that. Did y'all hear that? No. Nah. It was on the Insta story, didn't you see? Bro, that cat's probably fake. Alright, right, let's go to class then. The good outweighs the bad, but I really think it depends on how you use it. The good is you can see everything and you can contact people that you haven't seen in such a long time. It's a good thing because sometimes it does make you confident. I've learned a lot more about the world around me and it helped me kind of open my mind up and like saw new perspectives I never thought about before. You can meet friends on social media and... You can show who you are as a person and you can show others what you feel. But I know at the same time, if you use social media in a bad way, it can do the complete opposite. I'm not saying there's not stuff that's good, but there's so much stuff on there that's negative and, and damaging. And, and uh, you know, I, I feel like some people kind of judge themselves by how they're presented on social media or people follow them and that's not how a person should be evaluated. With cyberbullying, people can hide behind a screen and won't say it in person when they know that they can hurt other people's feelings easier on social media. But it also sucks time away. No, I don't feel like I'm addicted to my phone. I just use it a lot. I think I'd be fine to go without it, but when I have it, I'm on it a lot. Because I don't got nothing else to do, so I get bored and I just get on social media to take some of my time. That face-to-face -face is really important. It gets, you can read body language, you know what a person's trying to say. You understand maybe their emotional feeling when they're trying to talk to you, which you don't get from a text message. You post something and the whole school sees it about someone, I think we've seen situations where not only damaging, it, it can be very dangerous and can lead to some dire consequences. I think, me personally, I don't think it's become a huge problem. It's definitely become an addiction at some points when I don't feel like doing other responsibilities. I just kind of go on my phone. Some people, their phone, the internet is their entire life and they can't get away from that. It's because drama is like so interesting to everyone. Their image or what somebody said about them or what they should say. And to me, it's scary. It's scary for our society in general. <laughs>
there are situations that should have never happened in the first place if it wasn't for social media because I feel like it elevates problems in so many ways because not only do you know your problems, everyone else does. I hear from students talking about things that someone posted or on social media and it, it makes them upset. Soon we're starting to compare our lives to theirs and it's like, oh, well, I'm not doing anything. And that brings about depression. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Or like, you know, when you're just bored at home, you kind of want to do whatever anyone else is doing. Keeping up with people in your life and just keeping up with things in the world in general. I think it's a pretty big deal whenever you're sending people bad energy. It can really affect somebody's life. Hey, hey, what do you want? Why are you putting everyone's business out there? You shouldn't have done it in the first place. Yeah, you know you wouldn't. You, you hey, know you should Hello. Why'd you have to expose me like that? You shouldn't have done it in the first place. I was going to tell her anyways. Well, now it's out there and I can't do anything about it. Oh, I thought we were friends. I guess we're not friends anymore. Come on, Zamar, let's go. we reach a tipping point where we turn the other way. I think that's probably the most damaging thing to high school students is cyberbullying. It really does mess with the mind, and the mind is a powerful thing. If you're getting talked about, that can easily lower somebody's confidence because you really were getting put in a situation that you think that other people are thinking so bad about you. I guess there really isn't a good solution on how to end the bullying. It's just how you are about it. I think that no matter what we try to do, there's always going to be bad stuff on social media. Um, there's always going to be bad stuff in the world, social media or not. Social media just elevates that. Trying to remember that you are worth more because you know who you are and you know what you stand for. It's all about your mental state and what you think about yourself because that's all that really matters is just how you feel. You're going to go home, you're going to realize you're in four walls with only yourself and that should only prove that only your opinion should matter amongst yourself and that's that's how it should always be you should never let someone bring you down knowing that there's an actual world out there and that you should live in it because you only live once honestly just be you